Masaya mag-aral ng Sensa with Sir Alvin Miranda. Good day learners! Welcome back to my class. For this video, we are going to talk about the levels of biological organization. For our most essential learning competency, you should be able to describe the different levels of biological organization from cell to biosphere. Are you ready to learn? Let's go! Let us first play a short game. The title of this game is See My Name. Ready? Let's begin! Did you got it all correct? Very good! Are you familiar with these terms? How about the word organism? Do you know what is an organism? How will you describe an organism? What makes up an organism? Let's find out the answer to these questions as we go on with this video. Now, I want you to put out your ball pen and observe its parts. How many parts a ball pen have? Can you name the parts of your ball pen? Here are the parts of your ball pen. Barrel shell, ink tube, ball point, cap, and others. Each part of the ball pen has a specific role to play. What do you think will happen if one part of the ball pen is missing? Correct! You cannot use your ball pen properly and it will be a hassle. Just like your ball pen, organisms are also made of different parts and each part plays a specific and important role. Let's now explore the different levels of biological organization. All living things exhibit a unique and complex hierarchical organization. This is arranged in ascending order or from lowest to the highest level that includes cell, tissue, organs, organ systems, organism, population, community, ecosystem, and biosphere. One concrete example of living thing is you. You are composed of many parts and each part has a specific function. Every part is interrelated and is necessary for your continuous existence on this planet. It is guided by the rule all for one, one for all because these parts of your body will not work alone. Instead, it works as a whole. One part will not be able to work properly if one part is missing. Let's start with the lowest level of biological organization, which is the cell. Cell is the smallest functional unit of any organism. It is the basic unit of life. It is the smallest unit that can perform all activities associated with life like growth, reproduction, excretion, and nutrition. Examples of cells are red blood cell, sperm cell, plant cell, and bacterial cell. Next level is the tissue. Tissue is made up of a group of cells having a common structure and function. There are four types of tissues, epithelial, connective, muscle, and nervous tissue. 
Epithelial tissues protect the body from the outside world. The skin is made up of this type of tissue. Connective tissues wrap around an organ to caution and protect it. Muscle tissues are responsible for body movement and mechanical digestion. Nervous tissues conduct impulses to and from the different organs through the neurons in the brain and spinal cord. When these tissues are grouped together, they form an organ. An organ is a group of tissues of the same structure and adapted to perform a specific function. Example, when nervous tissues are grouped together, an organ is formed. And this organ is the brain. The main function of the brain is to process information in our body. Another example of organ is the heart. The main function of the heart is to pump blood. Did you know that the largest organ of human body is the skin? How about plants? Do they have organs? Of course, they have organs. Plants' organs are roots, stem, leaves, flowers, and fruits, and each part plays a specific function. The next level is the organ system. Organ system is a group of organs that work together to perform a specific function. There are 12 organ systems in our body. Can you name these 12 organ systems? Very good! Observe the illustration. Can you name what organ system is this? Correct! It is the digestive system. Can you name some of the organs present in this organ system? Very good! Some of its organs are the mouth, stomach, and intestine. What do you think is the function of these organs? Correct! Together, this organ's main function is to digest the food that we eat so that we can absorb the nutrients present in the food. The table shows the different organ systems in the body, its main components, and its main function. You can pause the video to look into it and study well. Plants are also made up of organ systems the root system, and the shoot system. The root system absorbs water and nutrients from the soil. The shoot system moves them to the different parts of the plant. Flowers are the reproductive organs of the plant. Together with the leaves and the stems, they make up the shoot system. The next level is the organism. Organism is an individual form of life. Organisms are made of different organ systems that enable them to perform different functions necessary for living and survival. Can you name examples of organism? Human, trees, plants, and animals are examples of organisms. Next, we have population. Population is a group of organisms of the same species that live together in a given area at the same time. A species is a group of organisms in which two members are capable of reproducing sexually. Examples of population under same species are group of people in a barangay, group of dog in a compound, group of fishes in the ocean, and group of mango trees in a farm. Species do not exist as an isolated population. Most population of species interact with other population of species. This forms the next level, which is the community. Community is the association of different populations of species living and interacting together at the same time. Take a look at the image. This is an example of a community of different populations of a species. 
next level is an ecosystem. Ecosystem is a community of living organisms and non-living components. An ecosystem consists of all living components in a particular area that depends on abiotic or non-living components like air, water, soil, and sunlight for survival. And the next level, which is the highest level, is the biosphere. Biosphere refers to all life on Earth and all places where life exists. The biosphere is the space on or near the Earth's surface that contains and supports living organism and ecosystem. It is typically subdivided into lithosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere. Our planet is indeed composed of a variety of living things, ranging from single cell to a massive sphere of life forms. While each organism tends to vary in sizes and function, still, no one lives alone and can live alone. Each organism somehow depends on or affects the life of other living organisms. Any change in a part of one system can drastically increase or decrease the chances of survival. To sum it up, the levels of biological organization are ranged from lowest to the highest level are cell, tissue, organ, organ system, organism, population, community, ecosystem, and biosphere. Remember, living things are highly organized and structured. These levels of organization are interconnected with each other. The absence of one level may prevent the existence of the other level. These levels work hand-in-hand, hand, which makes life possible to exist. 